Hey guys, it's Allie, and we're watching Supernatural Season 13, Episode 13. Yes, I've heard tons of good things about this episode. Uh, first, we have Daniil. Fuck me up. Second, there's like a huge plot twist or something at the end of this episode, which makes me scared. Because this is a Buck Lemmy episode, as, as all of you know. I do not like them. I could go on and on about them. I just don't like them. Some of their episodes are are good. Um, most of the time, it always has some element of their episode that I'm like, ooh, okay, why did you have to add that? So let's see which one they do with this, which I'm very scared for because it has Daniil in it. So I swear to God, if they do anything to her, I may scream. So. Yeah, let's just get into it. God, I really don't want to see more of Lucifer in this episode. <gasps> no! Come on! That bitch better be dead. Yo, what? What the fuck? I told you I found a body. Um, See? Dead. <laughs> I'm so confused right- Wait, he's back at the same place? He's back at the same- Lucifer! You know... Where are you? Just... I am... Gonna cry, that's so- <gasps> Is that Cupid? Hey. Is that a Cupid? Nice job. Another happy beginning. No. Right? Lucifer, I sort of fuck. Cupid? I sort of fuck. Can he stop? Just... Period. Stop. Everything. Oh my god. So, come on. So you should be careful. Accidents can happen. I still don't understand how anyone can like Lucifer. Like He's just such an asshole. Sorry. Let me get this straight. <gasps> you were kidnapped weeks ago. Yeah, Locked team. up. Guess I just talked to you on the phone. No. no. You look so annoyed. No. Well, I mostly wanted Lucifer. I just, uh, just happened to be in proximity. Lucifer? No, no, no. He... No, no, no. We slammed his ass back in the apocalypse world. Had Kevin it... Tran. Kevin Tran? The apocalypse world version, yes. <laughs> he managed to open a rift. <laughs> Me too, Lucifer's team. Grace. They have an angel tablet? Yes. And the archangel Michael. Again, the apocalypse world version. He wants to use the spell to... So you met... Yes, I specifically told you not to do anything stupid. Don't do anything stupid. If I plan to do anything else stupid, I'll let you know. Well, well you know him. He, he does weak. things. And Why? What are you gawking at? You've never seen the Prince of Darkness before, pal? Turn around. Me. Come on, man. <laughs> Suffer. All these fools had to do was keep Lucifer on ice until I returned from an important errand. That's so <gasps> frankly, I'm shocked you left. Whoa. I believe yeah. I said it was an important errand. Okay. More important than having Lucifer. My initial in a thought cave. was. I'm still shook that they're working together. She touches you, there's this glow. You're cured. Really? Uh, so now he thinks she's an angel. Yeah. Mm. Great. 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 It's a long yes. shot at best. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, you better, better be. We should have known it wasn't you. Well, he's a shapeshifter. Besides, I, I was the one who got myself captured. Yeah, but if Sam and I knew... Literally, you know, how did he yeah, not no, know? You would have tried another long shot finding. You sure about that? Right now, all that matters is getting Jack and your mother out of that place. But also your yeah. happiness is Look, important. I promised Kelly that I would protect her son. 
I intend wow. to keep that promise. Hey, there he is. Donnie, how you doing? Hey! Uh, the usual. Bewildered. Right. I'm so oh. happy he's a reoccurring so, character. Here's I really plan. like him. We grab Satan. <laughs> and we use his grace to open up a door between two universes. Okay? Then we get Mom, we get Jack, and we get out. We slam the door before Michael follows us and destroys our universe. Now it's... If this was taken out of context. <laughs> and so the spell they to say. Chicken wings. Excuse me? Chicken wings. Heavy lifting like this requires real brain fuel. My analysis of the half-lives of the 33 arsenic isotopes required about... 25 buckets. I mean... Yes. No. All right. It's Angel Radio. Well, what the fuck are they Messing saying? was found last night mutilated. Oh, the Cupid. Wait. Who's killing angels? Who do you think? <laughs> but yeah, the 25 buckets? Me during finals week. Yo. No fucking way. I'm gonna guess she's a witch. Not an angel. But she might be an angel. That'd be fucking hype. Lucifer. Wipe that smirk off your face. So, yeah, so according to the report, <laughs> uh, something blunt driven through the body. Um, Lucifer's also hand, stood in his neck, perhaps? Which means Lucifer fed on this angel's grace. Which means he's trying to restore his power. And if he dies, we're boned. Yeah. Epically. <laughs> Nice choice of words, Dean. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm like this. <laughs> oh, but I need a healing, Sister Joe. Or should I say L-I-L? Oh, it is an angel. You're an angel. Back at you, Lucifer. No fucking what? way! No, spare me, Dark Master. <laughs> no, because you're fear. a bitch. Should I quake? I mean, yeah, most people sort of do, yeah. I'm not most. Right. Oh. Ah. That is very impressive. Come on. As you can see, my... Take a sip now, sip later. Not taking all the grace, but giving the angel time to recharge. Then, rinse and repeat. And that angel be... Daniel, no! It's better than having you suck me dry and kill me, isn't it? This way. I help you, you help me. What do you need help with? Still a businesswoman. <sighs> Look at Cass and Jean in the back. Ew. Black Lemon, you didn't need to do that. Better? So much better. Ew, it, it doesn't. Ugh. I swear to fuck if Danielle dies, I may scream. Fuck oh, Cass, Cass, yes, fuck it. Oh, bitch! Oh, he looks so good. I mean, all of them look good, but. Oh. Yo, what? <laughs> it's only you. Last time we were together, I saved your lives and you shot me. Oh, you Doesn't deserved that make it. Sense? Isn't it possible that I'm simply trying to strike a blow for the good of humanity? <laughs> no. No. That's not possible. I propose we team up. I propose you Share fuck intent. off. Mm. <gasps> I love Cass so much. <laughs> All right. So we take the bag and back to the bunker. Oh my Burn god. Out and put a bullet in him, burn his bones and flush his ashes. I like that plan. Hey. I Just love that. Ew. Ew. You don't have to rush. Buck Lemming, seriously? We can do this slowly. Ew. Ew. Lucifer. Great what, where is this? The prophet. We found him. <sighs> Come on. <gasps> Cass. You. I, I thought I felt depressed. Me. <laughs> I, I just hope I'm in time. 
You mean before Michael comes? Before anything happens to Jack or the boy's mom. I couldn't live with myself if they never make it out of that terrible place. Is that Asmodeus? Yes, yes, that would be very tragic. Oh no, Forget he is Asmodeus. I hate how he keeps becoming cast. Run along it's... now. Ooh, it's so annoying. Well, you are Colonel Sanders, so. <laughs> wrong. It's wrong. I really hate fact how they keep humanizing stuff? Lucifer. Like, mm. what the fuck? Oof. What a woman. He wants to drain my grace. So he's still weak. Very. You have to help me. We will. She's playing. First, you're gonna help us. Do we? Uh... Please stab him. Please stab him. Stab him. Uh... Stab him. Oh, Cass. Yes. What do you do now? You're gonna, you're gonna kill me. Hopefully. Mm. Eventually. Why eventually? <laughs> what? <laughs> I help you, you help me. But like, why? How did you get out of the trunk? I'm Kitch. I found- He's supposed to present an opportunity. If I'm working for him, True. then I can pass information on to you. True, right. but you can also you tell us what they're us. doing. I know you think I'm a monster. Because, because you, you are. are. <laughs> right now, you need me. Kill him. <laughs> if for my incredible act of generosity. You name me the undisputed and unquestioned ruler of heaven. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> oh, come on! And icing on the cake, guys? How'd you like your wings back? Enough, like, no. I hate him. Literally, what the fuck? Are you kidding? Really? I'm... Buck Lemming, what the fuck? Hail to the king, baby. Why would he... God... You recall the important errand I had mentioned? Word it got back to me that a certain artifact I thought had been lost forever resurfaced. The angel top? And now it's mine. What? Okay. The only known weapon capable <clears throat> of destroying an archangel. The archangel blade. Okay, we said that about the cold. You forgive me. This isn't gonna work. You, you just know it's not gonna work. Wars. Blade is only effective if wielded by an archangel. Oh, really? Oh. Allow me to make an introduction, Mr. Ketch. Who's that? Meet no the way. Gabriel. No fucking way. What? How long? What? How long has he been down there? You have the power to save us all. We get mom. <gasps> we get Jack. Hello, family reunion. This boy can open a rift big enough to march an army through. There's a power here I've never seen. Yo, mom. Mary? Supernatural. What the Returns fuck? They get okay, Thursday, so they get March Jack back. <gasps> March first. March first. March. <laughs> the one time they give me something that I'm actually interested in, they go on a little hiatus. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> okay, let's just talk about the obvious because you know that's how it ended. Gabriel is back. I feel like. Gabriel was in an episode recently, like not recently, but like within the last few. Gabriel. Yeah, he was in season nine. Yeah, he was in an episode with Cass. Oh, he creates an illusion of Gabriel. Sorry, my memory is really shitty, so little things like this are really fuck me up. But yeah, Gabriel was killed. So does that mean who brought him back? 
was it who brought what so how long has he been in there okay so gabriel had to have been killed then brought back by someone then put in a jail cell for like six seasons seven seasons how and Asmodeus wasn't always down there, so Crowley must have known that he was alive and down there. So his fucking mouth shut. What the hell? What the actual hell is happening? I really hope they answer more questions because I'm shook right now. <laughs> so yeah, Chuck has brought back multiple characters. So he might have brought him back, but still, what the hell? <laughs> okay, what else about this episode? We got Sister Jo, or Anail, I think that's her name, which is played by Dunail. Um, I love her character. Like the whole like businesswoman, like, you know, I'm gonna go to um, Earth and just be my own businesswoman, you know? Take advantage of all the humans that need help from an angel. I don't know, that was just like really cool and like, I liked it, I liked it a lot, but then you bring in Lucifer and I can't be the only one that for each scene where Lucifer was taking the angel grace from Joe, that was like weirdly sexual and just weird and Buck Lemming has a tendency to do like weird like sexual things with women in these episodes and it's so I don't know how to explain it, but it's just so ugh. The things they do to characters is disgusting. And you know, I thought Anail would, you know, help Sam to get cast to, you know, kill Lucifer, but no, she's really gonna help him be the uh, king of heaven or whatever that what the hell also like the whole um conversation they had on like the bed about like how lucifer just wanted to fit in and now he's a father and he doesn't want to become his own father like <sighs> we don't need redemption arcs for every villain we see that's the thing the show doesn't understand sometimes a villain doesn't see themselves as bad they see themselves as doing good in their own mindset like in their mind they're doing what's right on this show every villain knows they're doing bad shit which isn't a villain and that's the one thing i hate about the show they keep trying to humanize lucifer and make him like make us feel empathetic to him i no i'm never going to be so stop trying so another thing about this episode Cass was in it as you all know I'm a cast bitch, so I was, oh, oh, every scene he was in, beautiful. Him coming back and just being so fucking annoyed at Sam and Dean. Like, remember that scene last season where Cass didn't tell Dean that he was going up to heaven? Ready, and on the phone, Dean, like, after he hung up, he was like... You sound weird to you. He knew something was wrong with Cass. But he was on the phone with Asmodeus pretending to be Cass, and he couldn't... He couldn't hear anything. Like, I thought Sam was the only one that has been calling him recently, which would make sense, because Sam in the past has never shown that he knows when something's wrong, like, in the way that Dean does. But Dean has called him, apparently. Like, that's what we found out this episode. I'm sorry, but that's fake. Yeah, but that's just me being picky about shit. But like, Asmodeus is, I don't like during that one scene with uh, Cass and uh, fuck, I forget his name, but the uh, the prophet um, when they were talking about um, like the uh, demon tablet, I thought it was Cass for sure. Like I didn't have any suspicion, but of course it was Asmodeus. So. I guess I can see what went wrong there. Oh, and speaking of Asmodeus, still not scared of him. They need to make his character better somehow. And also he has a archangel blade. Okay. So all of Ketch, Asmodeus, Sam, Dean, and Cass, they all want Lucifer dead. 
And now Asmodeus has the blade to kill him. It's just like... And then now Catch is working with both of them, so it's like... Just kill the bitch, <laughs> like... It's weird that the villain and the main characters both want the same thing. But yeah, now it makes sense that at, um, in last week's episode, when Asmodeus just wasn't there to talk to Lucifer and Cass, like, in hell jail, like, to me, that was so stupid. Like, you could have easily put Asmodeus in there, make the power shifts even greater, and, like, have Asmodeus really tower over Lucifer. But now we know that he had to get the blade to hopefully kill him. So now I understand why they did that. Still stupid, but whatever. We now have the blade. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else about the episode that I want to discuss. Oh, next week. Not even next week. It's uh, March something. Yeah, yeah, it's like, what, three weeks away? Whatever. So in three weeks, when we get another episode, we're gonna see Jack and Mary fucking finally. Like, I don't like Mary, but you know, I need to see what's happening in the AU with Michael and everything, and I want Jack to be safe. So we get to see that. Also, there's these like Viking slash cavemen that were like attacking Cass and Dean, I think, in that one little clip. What the fuck were they? Were they like, I don't even know. It looked like they were on Earth but it could have been the AU. Like, they were just being chased in the AU by them. Yeah, I'm just really excited for the next episode for, like, Gabriel, Cass, Jack. <sighs> we get it all. I'm so excited. I'm still pissed about Lucifer being, you know, the king of heaven. Like, what the fuck? But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. You know, it's only episode 13, so we got time. But yeah, I'll see you guys after the next episode.